Welcome to Scanning TV on YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Black Stars team, Black Stars players, and some other ones we need to know on this channel today. I know you've heard some rumors that Ghana Black Stars, our next World Cup games, that possibly we could have played in Kumase, might be moved away from Kumase to play in Ivory Coast or any other country. What is the truth in that? I was talking to Ditos. What Calf is actually saying at the moment and the timeline also allocated to that. But the biggest issue is how are we managing the various stadia we have in the nation? It is really bad and we will talk into details on that. We also look at the Ghana Futsal team. If they are in Morocco currently. I've told you the AFCON will begin from 11th of this month to the 21st. And we will also talk about the team and also speak about GFA spokesperson Mr. Henry Asante Chum. He has spoken on the state of Ghana football. He says that he doesn't believe that the football is that bad or things are not going well well we will check out that interview as well in this update then baby jeta samoyan today he has officially launched the press side of the um all regional games in ghana here 2024 and it was amazing i saw ex players there celebrities ex players like um you know fatal that was them steven tornado up here um ajiman bedu just mentioned them some and the likes then we also had chicheku and some other stars in ghana here who went there to support it was really amazing we also have some few videos from there i'll also share with you in this update together we wait a lot that we have for you in this one before then if you have joined us you know how to do it always like the video for me after liking if you are new subscribe to this channel put us on post notification so that anytime you drop a latest update you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy don't forget to also leave your thoughts and comment in the comment box i'll give shout out to all those who commented under the last video in this one so stick and stay for that and after watching share this video for others to enjoy share and like like it is very important for us so that is that now let's begin from the various reports you have been hearing this morning that kumase babanyara sports stadium is not being approved by calf together with fifa you know um it all started after dreams fc they qualified to the semi-finals of the CAF Confederations Cup and they are going to play against Zamalek. The first game they will go away to play before they will come home here to um, play the second league against Zamalek. And in the CAF competitions, this is how it is. The more you progress, the more CAF actually, um, you know, they um, requires a lot of things that should be in the stadium for the stadium to be approved to host that particular game. So the games that they've played previously, someone may ask that, why is it that they played, the, um, you know, all the prelims, then the group stages and everything over there and now they are not allowing them no the more you progress to the semi-final to the final they need some particular standard before it can actually um host those games so for the semi-final stage calf needs some things to be done at the barbara sports stadium before dreams fc can play against the malik and those things are listed so let me give you all those one one what calf wants to approve at the barbara sports stadium is air conditioning in the press conference hall at the press conference hall if you go there there's no air condition there so you see the media guys sweating and a whole lot of stuff and calf says that if dreams fc want to play the semi-final game over there this should be done in some 10 days time as of the time recording this video two the pa system in the stadium according to them it only gives echo it doesn't give good sound so they need to actually change that five cordless microphones at least at the um you know conference hall and that is also another thing that they are actually demanding then wi-fi around the stadium according to calf if photographers then um, journalists and others they go there they take pictures videos they should be able to upload it quickly not that you have to go out and be searching for networks so this should also be at the Brother sports stadium then lighting in the tunnel to the dressing room so that is also one issue um they say that they should improve on that then the pitch the pitch the pitch that is the biggest issue we have been facing as a nation so these are the things that if dreams fc they want to play the semi-finals game um they should fix and that also goes in line with the black stars team before um calf will also approve it as well as fifa then all these things should be there for the black stars to also play our world cup qualifiers that is why those reports are actually uh, mentioning the black stars as well as the dreams fc game so if you can recall ahead of the world cup 2022 um it took a lot of interventions at the 11th hour before ghana we were able to approve um kumasi Barbara sports stadium to host nigeria for us to get that goalless draw here and we went to Moshida Biola to get one all to qualify for the world cup so this is the state of ghana football in fact facilities i will not say we lack facilities 
like that. We have a lot in the country, but we are not able to manage them well. Go to Accra Sports Stadium. Um, right now, the pitch is also going in a bad state because of some few um, programs that they did on the pitch and expose the grass to it. We have Legon Sports Stadium. We have Esipon. We have Tamale. We have the stadium in the nation, but we do not maintain it. Maintenance culture is the biggest headache in the nation at the moment. So that is the situation. And that is how, um, you know, this is the vivid explanation of the trending news that Black Stars, we might be playing our World Cup qualifiers outside Ghana. And that is going to be in Ivory Coast or any other nation. So that is it also in here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Now, let me move on and talk about the Ghana Futsal team. The team, they were based in Mohammedia in Morocco. And now they've traveled to Rabat. That is where they are going to stay and play their uh, middle group stages. And yesterday, after they arrived, then um, they had authorities in Morocco then. That is the head of Ghana's embassy in Morocco. They visited the team, which was led by, um, that is head of mission, Losa Angela Aloma too. And she was also accompanied by the head of um, affairs, that is Bernard Quansen and Belinda Che Akomia. They went to welcome the team. And that is it also in there. The game will happen as i said from 11th to the 21st of this month in morocco ghana will play our first game against zambia that is going to happen on thursday april 11th um, at 5 p.m at the prince mole abdallah hall in rabat then after that we also play against morocco the host country on the april 13th that is this saturday afterwards then we will play on um that is talking of april 15th against angola so these are the three group games that we have then if you're able to win or qualify then we will go to the next stage and see the countries that we will meet and some other stuff so i'll be following and bring a lot of updates on this channel now ghana football association spokesperson yes mr henry asante chum he has spoken with kesben tv and according to him if you say ghana football is dead you don't know what you are saying because there are a lot of things going on right and it is not only this tenor that the football is not going on well let's check him out after that we will talk more um i think that whatever situation we find ourselves today began many years ago uh Ghanaian clubs echo africa om de kotaria na why if it is that since 2004 akotokone has a folk a book confederation cup final and ne from 204 BC, 20 years ago, Afeniyenya first Ghanaian club was a semi-final. Now, Hindi, how does the issue of decline only uh, uh, come in within uh, uh, the last four years? Hindi, if it's just the last four years, there are a lot of positives that that we can talk about. Within the last four years, Dreams FC are in the final of the, uh, sorry, semi-final of the Confederation Cup. Within the last four years, uh, since 2000. And nine, I winning Africa under 20 championship. Now you winning BM within the last four years. You winning Ewo Mauritania. You qualify for FIFA under 20 World Cup. You qualify for a man under 20 World Cups twice. Um, and the Black Queens 2018. I host to a man Africa can see ah omo exit at the group stage. Now you can be BM. But in the year, can say Black Queens are qualified next in Mano, um, um, Afcon, Omo Ekwa Kububi, Ewo Morocco. Futsal, since 96, I Ekwa Kububi, Yanko Bimda, in the Futsal, Ejina Morocco, Ao Okusi Akai, in the Futsal Africa Cup of Nations. So, I, I can agree and I understand. Say there are challenges, especially if you are talking about competition by competition. There are a lot of challenges. In the last four years, we've been to the world. 2018 Yanko World Cup, 2022 Yanko World Cup. Yanko, you know, maybe group stage and your exit here. But if FIFA has over 150 members, not 32 in Yanko World Cup, now out of the 32, yeah, 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 you know, in the, if it is about competition specifics and challenges and issues that people have identified, that mini problem. You can talk about infrastructure, mini problem. You can talk about quality of play, mini problem. You can talk about standard of coaching, mini problem. You can talk about um, um, a kind of saying, um, um, officiating, mini problem. Coverage of, of games, mini problem. But when you are situating the argument in its pro proper perspective, also we win now one after the other. Now we have proper argument. Okay, now say, say, Then you are not being fair. So that is it from Mr. Henry Asante Chum. Do you agree with what he said? 
According to him, he listed a lot of things that is actually going on well in the Ghana football. So if he says things are not going on well, he doesn't agree. But I also don't agree to what he's saying because we can also list a whole lot of bad things which has gone on um, in the reign of the president at the moment. So, well, that is it. But let's keep it like that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Now, let me talk about all regional games. This is a great initiative from Baby Jetta Samojan. Yes, today the press lunch happened at La Palm Royal Beach Hotel and it was really great. We have a lot of dignitaries coming there. Ex-footballers, as I said, um, the likes of, um, you know, Stephen Apia Tornado, he was there. Abjim Abedu was also there. Samuel Yunkum just mentioned them. Fatal Dada in the likes. We also have, um, you know, Bukum Mankum who also came to support. Checheku and the others. I don't want to talk much. Let's check out what Samojan said and the other people who came to support this great initiative. Some more income around here in Ghana. Income, income. Of course, of course. Hey, income on Monday. More beach, the more beach, the more beach. Hey, UTV for an answer. Billy Snap. Ghana business. I see for a long time, right? Yeah. You go right here? Yeah. You landed? Yeah. All right. You should also have four Plasma TV? Okay. Yeah. 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 That makes sports to esports a genuine venture for the future in sports in Ghana. Thank you very much. And He's a sportsman every Ghanaian has come to love. He wears jersey number three. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the legendary Asamoah John Baby Jets. Oh, before he comes, or while he's coming. Great sit ups. Great sit ups. Great sit ups. Well, um, I'll make it um, 
brief. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Um, good afternoon, the press. Um, my colleagues. We're in the morning, so yeah, good good morning. Uh, my colleagues here, who are, who, who are here to support me, my friends, um, Ghana Supporters Union, um, Original Games CEO, um, the federations, esports, all protocol observed. Um, yeah, many years ago. Um, it's something I've been thinking of. Um, what can I do beyond football? Or what can I do to improve sports? Because um, after school, we, we all saw everything in the past, talking about this in TACO, the colleges and everything going down and um, nothing has been done. So it's something I've been planning for like a decade. But my problem was how to implement it. So it's something I've been contemplating through all these years. And lo and behold, um, I said to myself, hey, whether hook or crook, I have to make this thing happen. And then um, coincidentally, I was contacted by <laughs> Original Games. You know, they also had the same plan affiliated to mine. And um, we had a couple of meetings, and we decided to make it something bigger. So I had to share my ideas to them. And um, obviously, they wanted to do female sports and everything. But with my ideas and everything, we decided to open it and then um, name it the All Regional Games. Talking about going to the, all the 16 regions for for the 60 regions to have their best team in all the disciplines but because we have a short time that we're gonna we're gonna do the um sports festival the national sports festival in november because we have a short time we decided to um do about nine disciplines which involves football athletics boxing volleyball tennis and what have you. And then we decided to bring um, the, what was it? Um, the disabled. The disabled, that was the last minute plan we decided to. And we feel like we had to add the disabled for them to, be, to feel welcome in the society. And uh, talking about myself, I feel like, um, we need all these people to give them hope. So we decided to add a disabled to make all this thing happen. And I'm sure um, if we make this thing successful, next year is going to be great. Next year, we're going to open it. We're going to add a lot of disciplines to it. Uh, sometimes some of the sports disciplines come to my DM and I say, oh, why don't you bring this? Why don't you bring ours? I don't want to mention the discipline, but I do understand. But this is just the beginning. This is the first edition of the original games. You know, so I can assure everybody in Ghana that let's make this successful. Let's make original games a successful one. Let, let's make it an institute. Let's make it something that our next generation will benefit from. Because we're not looking upon football. Football is the number one sport in Ghana, no doubt. But we are looking beyond football. We want to make sure all the sports disciplines can also benefit. So in future, when we go to Olympic Games, we won't depend only on football. We depend on different, different sports disciplines it's to make Ghana a huge um, sports country when it comes to sports. So me being here, I can say my, my soul is happy. The time is now. The time is now because it's been my dream. Although I'm a football player, ex-football player, who has done a lot in football, but I'm thinking about Ghana. I'm not thinking about only football. And obviously, I thank my colleagues for their support. I called Bukum Bankun. 
I spoke to him about the project, and he said, no, hey, what you are doing is very big. I'm coming here to support. Thank you, Buko Banku. Thank you, my colleagues, everybody, for coming. Also, my, my school, when I was in Accra Academy, the only coach who saw my talent, Coach J.E. Sapon, who is a legendary coach. For all these years, um, there were a bit of time between us. You know, people were talking about me neglecting him and stuff. I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of things happening. I've been organizing events. Hey, let me leave everything and then come join because this is a huge thing. This is for Ghana. This is an institute. So why don't I add my experience to it? He came on board and he's here. <laughs> Ajimaya Bedu, <laughs> he's been a brother, he's been uh, somebody who's been very, very supportive. He's still in Apia. He's been very, very supportive since day one. Every event, I do invite them, John Pencil, Fatao Dauda, not only them, all my colleagues. Anytime I, I invite them to my event or any event that I'm associated to, they always make sure they are present. As you can see, they are here. A round of applause for them. When we talk about the original games, I urge every Ghanaian to support it. We are not here to come do one edition and then the following year you will hear of us again. I'm sure you have kids who are coming up. We are here to discover talent not only football, we are also here, people who cannot make it. We are here to support them, to give them scholarships and everything, to make sure without sports, they can even continue and better their education and become somebody from Ghana. And one important person here who um, I nearly forgot. He's the, one of the important people in our team, Mr. Kojo Fianu. He has been with the national team. When we talk about the national team from the Black Stars since I was young, he's the one who saw me during Stephen Apier's days, my brother's days. He's been somebody I do admire a lot, and he has done a lot in Ghana when it comes to sports. We had to contact him, share the ideas. We, even, we didn't even talk about even three things, and he jumped to it, and he said, listen, I mean, I'm here to support my son. I'm here to make the sports grow. It's something we've been thinking of, like the way I was thinking, but how to implement it was the problem. We had to sit for like seven months, sleepless nights, thinking about how we can improve sports in Ghana. And here we are now. As you can see, it's written, the time is now. So tell a friend to tell another friend, benefit. So all the corporate organizations who wants to sponsor, make sure you come up. Let's sponsor this event to make Ghana a great one. Thank you so much for coming. Thank everybody in the media. Thanks, Franklin, my guy, who is coming to talk about technicalities. Thanks to everybody who is here. Hopefully, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Yes, so that is it from the All Regional Games 2024. So I'll communicate to you guys when all the games are going to happen and everything. Just stay case stay. I'll also be releasing some videos because I had a rep who was there today to bring us all these exclusives. So guys, this is the latest update I have for you on this channel. What is your take on it? Let me know it in the comment box. Let me give shout out to you guys, all those who commented under the last video. Shout out going out to um Moody Bright, Asiwomi, Moody Bright, Asiwomi. So Bright, thank you for being here. I appreciate you as well.
well um nathan menu you are here nathan um you've been here since since thank you for always being here ima 8485 thank you for being here um then i have richard thank you i appreciate your presence richard dometi is also here thank you um then i have adam kofi on this channel i appreciate you a lot love you ajima thank you for being here um then i have um ken films okay okay viva kim films thank you for being here dms fresh you are here thank you dms i've seen you um arafat sapaka thank you for being here arafat i've seen you um ns the is also on this channel um ken moses empire tv thank you for being here ken moses i've seen you elijah nana santi is also on this channel imano amani is here and the last one is Kofi Okain. You guys are amazing. Thank you for always being here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to always like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. After watching, share for others to also come and enjoy. This was Kenny TV and of course, we shall meet later.